Hey, what's up guys? Um, I just got back to school now, so I'll probably be creating tutorials randomly. Um, I have a lot of work going on, which I'll upload to my channel uh, once I get the files and once I do the work. So um, anyway, I'm just going to show you in this tutorial how you can create a simple domino animation. So um, this is basically what it looks like. There you go, dominoes. Uh, I'm just going to get a new scene here. Just start from scratch. Um, throw a plane in here. Scale it up. A cube for the domino. And form it into a domino shape. Alright, that's good. And now I'm just going to create a curve. Create CV curve tool. And I'm going to use the top view and create whatever curve you want. However you want the dominoes to go along the path. Alright, that's good for now. So, now I'm just going to select the domino. Um, and, hold on. Shift select the curve. Alright, so I got the domino. Shift select the curve. Um, go to your animation tab here. And go up to animate. Motion paths attached to motion path. Alright, so go back to the default settings here and I'm going to have the time range um, start and end and um, so let's see here the up axis should be Y the front should be Z you might have to play around with this till you get it right um, alright, that's good there so if I play it you'll notice it will go along the motion path um, I'll just make my timeline maybe like 500. Um, and close that up. I'll go to the first one and I'll have my domino selected and I'll go up to animate. Um, create animation snapshot option box. The time range should be start and end. Um, however many dominoes you want depends on the end time. So. Let's see how 28 looks. Alright, they're bunching up a little bit. Um, let's see what happens if I do like 25. Alright, this looks pretty good. So I'm just going to close that up. You can delete the original domino, you don't need that. And if you have some bunched up here, you can select some of them, delete them. Probably deleting too many. Hold on. Let me just go to my wireframe on shaded so I can see them better. Alright. Um. Eh, I'll choose this one. Alright. So you can just drag your floor down below the dominoes. Try and make it flush. We can fix it later. And um, we're going to open up the snapshot group here. And make sure you don't select the group. Select all of them individually. Shift select these. And we're just going to create a gravity field on this. So go to your dynamics tab here and drop a gravity field onto it. Alright, so if you play that, just fall through the floor. Um, we're going to make this a passive rigid body um, so create passive rigid body under soft rigid bodies and now if we play this again we'll stay in place alright so now we're just going to select the first domino which is the trigger and on keyframe 0 or 1 we're just going to um, set a passive key and then I'm going to go to say 10. Rotate it. Um, hold up, let me fix my rotation tools. Should be rotating um, that's weird. Alright, well, it doesn't matter for now, but um, yeah, we're just going to rotate it into the other one. You might have to drag it up a little bit so it's not 
colliding with the floor. Um, and we're going to set an active key at keyframe 10. All right, so I'm just going to play that out, Let's see if it works. So there you have it, a simple domino animation. Um, feel free to give a video response to this. I appreciate it. Um, comments, suggestions. Thanks, guys.